welcome to the cz series in this today's question this was previously asked in the cz 2000 23 exam so what is the remainder when the product of 85 87 89 91 95 96 96 is divided by 100 what is the concept here is this question was asked from the remainder theorem so one of the basic concept from remainder theorem is used to solve the question so what is the concept let's see when a number 10 divided by 5 tell me what is the remainder you can take this is example 1 before solving the question i can give you few examples to learn this better so 10 divided by 5 what is the remainder so usually in the division process you will be making 5 and 10 how many fives are there 2 time 5 is 10 so the remainder is going to be 0 so the same thing how to get without doing this kind of division process is direct cancellation method how many fives one time five here how many five two times five so two is on the quotient one is on the divisible part which means whenever you are getting one on the denominator that is the bottom number whenever you get denominator equal to one which means the remainder is zero so without doing the direct division we can get the answer by cancelling both numerator and denominator right one more example if 3 into 50 this is the numerator i give you divided by 15 what is the remainder you want to find that you can take this is example 2 so here without doing the division process how to find it directly using the cancellation method 1 time 3 5 time 3 1 time 5 10 time 5 irrespective of the numerator value look at the denominator after cancellation the denominator became 1 which means remainder is 0 the simple logic is used in this 2023 cz question let me take the values 85 87 89 91 into 95 into 96 this value while divided by 100 what is the remainder just now we have seen when the denominator turns to 1 after simplification which means always the remainder is going to be zero let me try in that way whether we are able to cancel the 100 with the numerator or not so here 100 directly i am not able to cancel with the values but we can split up and cancel so the thing is we want to cancel this 100 with the numerators so whether it is cancelable fully or partially let's see so first thing here i can see a value ending with 5 so i got the idea this number is divisible by 5 and 100 yes obviously 100 is going to be divisible by 5 so how many fives are there so divided by 5 for your reference i am writing in the examination you no need to write this 20 times 5 is 100 here how many fives are in 95 19 times 9 5 is 95 right further i am trying to cancel this 20 with any of the numbers here i can see another 5 so this number also will be divisible by 5 again with 5 i am going to cancel 4 times 5 is 20 here 1 times 5 is 5 balance 3 so 7 times 5 is 35 okay i have reduced the 100 to 4 now i am going to cancel this 4 with any of the number which number will help us yes 96 is the even number it is also divisible by 4 let's check it 
1 times 4. So, here finally I have divided with 4. 2 times 4 is 8. Balance 1. 4 times 4 is 16. Finally, what is the idea I get is denominator I am going to test in this case. In this case, I got the denominator 1. What is the meaning? Which means the remainder going to be 0. So, answer we can choose option A 0. Today's question. So, what is the remainder when the product of 185, 972, 809, 911, 495 and 196 is divided by 108. So, four options are given to you. So, you can try to solve this and register your answer with the comment section. Now, let us see the answer for the previous video's question. In the previous video, I had given one question. A four digit number A9A9 A9, on multiplication with C gives 9C9C nine C, nine C, where A, B, C are different non-zero digits. What is the value of A plus C? Let me solve for you. So, actually given is A9A9 A9, multiplied by C, we got 9C9C nine C, nine C as the result. Here 9C9C nine C, nine C is the product two numbers A9A9 A9, and C. One is four digit number, another one is one digit number. How to decode this in a simpler manner is 9C9C nine C, nine C, while divided by C we got A9A9 A9 as the result. So, in this case what to see? C is a single digit and also a non-zero digit. So, let me take the values of single digits. What are the single digits? 1, 2, up to 9 where my answer is satisfied by all the conditions. That one I am going to choose as the final answer. So, here what are the conditions? A9, A9 is what kind of number? It is a natural number which means first condition C is divisible in that number. The C is divisible in the four digit number that is the meaning. Second thing, the result is given as a four digit number ending with 9. This is the second condition. And third one is A is placed in the two places which means both the A are having same values. Now, let me check according to the condition where it suits. So, let me substitute from the 1. So, I am putting C is 1. What happens? Let us see 9191 9, divided by 1. What is the value I will be getting? 9191. 9, 1. Look at the unit digit. Our focus must be at the unit digit because here unit digit is 9, here unit digit is 1. So, this one is eliminated. Let me take C is 2. 9, 2, 9, 2 divided by 2. We can do direct division. Otherwise, our focus is on unit digit. Just now I told you. So, what is the idea? Here 2, here 2. In two table, two multiplication tables, what does the value give you 2 as a result? 2 ones are 2. Otherwise, 2 into 6, 12. That is also giving you unit digit is 2. 1 or 6 is available in this case. But we require 9. So, if you solve it, you will be getting either 1 or 6. We will be getting 1 or 6 as the result. But we want 9 at the unit place. So, here second case also not valid. Now, case 3, let me take C is 3. What will happen? I want to substitute 3 in the place of C. While dividing by 3, what I am getting? See, first condition, C must be divisible in that number. So, 3 must be divisible in that. So, I can add up all the things. So, I can add up all the things. 9 plus 3, 12. 12 plus 9, 21. 21 plus 3, 24. So, this 24 is divisible by 3. Okay. But I need a result ending with 9. So, let me check where I will be getting 
3 in the 3 multiplication table. Only 1. Only with 1. 1 into 3, 3. 2 into 3, 6. Like that. Only 1 gives us 3 at the ending number. So, here 1 is not equal to 9. We expect 9 here. So, case 3 also eliminated. Case 4, I am just checking. 9, 4, 9, 4 divided by 4. What is the result going to be? The result must be of 4 digits ending with 9. Okay. What is the first condition? This 4 must be divisible in the numerator. So, what is the divisibility rule for 4? Just think. Divisibility rule for 4 is you want to check for last 2 digits. Last 2 digits you want to check they must be 0 or multiple of 4. This is enough. Irrespective of the number of digits, we want to check last 2 digits. This is the divisibility trick with 4. So, last 2 digits are 94. 94, whether it is divisible by 4? No. 2 times 4 is 8. 14. 14 is not divisible in 4. So, we can eliminate at this stage. We can come out of the process now. So, 4 is not a valid number for C. Now, let me take the next case. Now, let me substitute C is equal to 5. 9, 5, 9, 5 divided by 5. What is the answer? 1 times 5. Here, 1 times 5, balance 4. 9 times 5, 45. Again, 1 times 5, 5, balance 4. 9 times 5, 45. Yes, I got 1, 9, 1, 9 as the result. It satisfies the condition. C is divisible. Yes. And the result is 4 digit S. Ending with 9, yes. So, based on this, I can take what is A going to be? This is A. This is the value for A. I can confirm A is 1. And C is going to be 5. So, what is the value for A plus C? The answer is 6. That's all. So, in the next video, I meet you with some other interesting question. Thanks for watching.